All right, guys, welcome back to the Kill Dragon. So since the last one, I'm working on a little project. It all has to do with this tiny little shack that we stayed in in about two episodes ago. Yeah, that seems about right. But yeah, I've hollowed out quite a bit, but I have a serious plan for this. We're gonna make a mob grinder, and I'm just about done hollowing everything out. So this is uh, where they fall from. They take, it's uh, 23 blocks in height, so they should fall down and just be barely alive. And, you know, it's not the best design, but let, here, let's go up here. So this is what I've hollowed out so far. I still have one more corner to go. Basically, what I have going on is I'm eventually going to hook up some redstone, uh, put some dispensers in each corner filled with, like, a water bucket, and every minute or so they will turn on, thus making the water flow down here and funneling all the mobs here. So, yeah, it's not the best design, but you know what? It, that's what I have going on for me. So I'm going to hollow out this little area here first, and I'll get back to you guys later. All right, just finished the entire hollowing out of the area, and now what we're going to do is set up a little wiring redstone system uh, in the back ways so that it'll activate all of the dispensers at the exact same time. Also, instead of having a lever, we're going to have a, uh, I think, a hopper timer. We're going to try to make that. So I'm going to make the materials for that. So give me one little second. I also forgot to mention that I did enchant my pickaxe. Uh, I had to make another one uh, because the other one broke. But it has efficiency three and unbreaking three. Uh, sharp diamond sword. I got a bunch of sharpness books, so I got that to sharpness three. Uh, but the, the, the bow of pow is still the same. So yeah, that this is all the uh, cobblestone that I wound up collecting. Because a lot of it was just filler because I had to change the size a bit of that little build. But now... Ooh, I don't know if we're going to have, no, have enough redstone. Oh, oh dear. Uh, now, we need to make some comparators, repeaters, hoppers, pistons. Yeah, there's a lot that we need to make. That's not going to be enough quartz, so I have to make a quick... I've, I'm going to have to make a quick nether trip just to get more quartz, because I have none. Yep, I'm going to bed. Oh, no, don't trap me. Eh, okay. Ow! Why did you follow me in? Go away! No, you really shouldn't be here. Oh my god, it's like butter! What you looking at? I'm one of you. I'm a zombie. We can be bros. Why is there a chicken? Yeah, 64 and 28. I think, yeah, I think we're good. And we're back. Time to make some stuff. Okay. So. I need some comparators. Observer, observer, no. No. Actually, we do need a sticky piston. I lied. Oh god, we need stone. Oh god. I only have one stone. There's a slight problem I have. To make all the dispensers, you need... Well, you needed a bow. To make a bow, you need string, which I have none of. There's a lot of stuff we need, oh my god. Alright, so I think I have everything that I need to build the grinder. Um, there's just one thing that I need to do is just to get water, and I think then... Hopefully, I'll have everything to build it. This has turned into a longer episode than I thought it would. I had other plans. I was like, okay, we're gonna do quickly do the mob grinder, then we're gonna do... Uh, we're gonna make a little chicken farm, but I mean... Now that I think about it, we don't really have to do that unless we want food. Because we're gonna get all the arrows we will ever need just from this build. So... What do you, what do, you do? 
Dispenser there. I have a dispenser there. Let's quickly hook it up. Near it. And let's see, if we have a signal going over here, another repeater. I wonder if this will actually work. So let me just take out this tree real quick here. So I'm going to say right here, we're going to need another repeater. That, that's perfect. So now we're going to do the same thing to the other side. Let's look about center. Yeah. Okay. So the way this works is we're going to have two hoppers facing each other, which will cause items to flow between the two. It'll seem a little bit confusing, but it, trust me, it's not it's not that not that hard. Okay, so the way we're gonna build this is as follows. I'm gonna set a hopper there. Set that so the knob is facing that way, break this, and replace it so that it faces towards that one. Okay. And next we're gonna face our comparators there. So what these do is basically detect uh items. And they send a signal once an item is like through or something. I have no idea. But uh, we're going to have a block that's going to be powered. So we're going to have two pistons. And yeah, I think that's it. So what's going to happen is we're going to have a signal here. And make sure that it reaches everything which it looks like it has which is absolutely fantastic what we're gonna do is put them in there or put a stack of items in there and it'll take them out put them into uh, this hopper and once that's full this should move to this side which will cancel a redstone signal and turn it off. So, uh, or, or not. What's going on? Ah, okay. Maybe these do need to be sticky pistons. Hold on. Technical difficulties. I'll be back. Didn't really want to use my slime balls, but we're going to have to do it. Yep, don't mind me, Creeper. Don't blow up anything, I swear. Alright, so now this should work, because now that they're both sticky pistons... Um... Yeah. They should work. Okay. Good, good, good. So, we're gonna have that going. Hopefully it'll be in enough time. 23 and... What do we got here? 45. I think that should be good. So with that working, all you really need to do is just turn off all the lights and also get a little bucket of water in each of these. Hopefully that'll get rid of all the uh, lights. And uh, yeah, it's time for me to go. You ever see so many creepers in one congested area? Like that is terrifying. <laughs> Come here. Yeah, I see you and you and your little creepy crawly legs. Your long legs. Yeah, not so long boy anymore, aren't ya? Alright, so now that we got that hooked up, let's in, let's go and see if, in fact, it actually works. Alright, I bring good news. We have our first two... Uh, results of our work. Oh. 
Oh dang, we're getting a lot more. Dance. Dance. Do the mob grind. Ah. Welcome to the dance party. So, can't confirm it does work. At least, a little bit. So I think what I want to do for the rest of today is we're going to go farm some Endermen. There's the castle. And where are the wheat fields? Oh, there's a lot of skeletons. Oh god, don't kill me. No, horsey, why, why do they- okay, why do they do that? Stop, don't stop moving, just go. So you stay here. Where are you going? Why are you just like moonwalking to the side? No, Horsey, why are you doing that? You almost just died. You almost just killed me. No, just stop. I don't know what you're doing, but you're freaking me out, man. Oi. No entry into the premises. Oh, that is a lot of endermen. We're gonna get some pearls tonight. Come here. Yeah, I'm doing the cheesy way of doing this. They can't get me. Yeah, look at that. I already have three. We're getting bank. We're spawning a lot tonight. To find the Ender Dragon, we really need about 16. I'd say that's a minimum, because there's a chance that the portal itself will have no pearls inside it already, so we need 12 of those. We also need to, you know, find the sucker. So it looks like that's all the Endermen that we're gonna get tonight, because it's already done now. Okay, you cannot just sneak up on me like that. That is illegal, but I think that's going to be the end of today's episode, so if you enjoyed, so please leave a like and hit subscribe if you would like to see more of my content, and also leave a comment to let me know how I did. So until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye bye